When God's word determines the seasons of your life, supernatural provisions are guaranteed. Amen. Elijah had just declared a drought over the land. 1 Kings 17 verse 2 to 3, I read from the New King James Version. Then the word of the Lord came to him, saying, Get away from here and turn eastward and hide by the brook Cherith, which flows into the Jordan. And it will be that you shall drink from the brook, and I have commanded the ravens to to feed you there. Amen. It is noteworthy that when the drought was declared over the land, Elijah did not have secondary plans for his well-being, meaning where to stay, what to eat, or what to drink. He took the word from the Lord to Elijah in order to transition from where he was into his supernatural provisions. Amen. Elijah was able to drink from the brook and eat what the ravens brought to him, according to 1 Kings chapter 17, verse 4 and 6. This was supernatural provision. Amen. When the brook dried up, Elijah's assigned source of water, it, it took another word from God in order to transition into another source of supernatural provision. This time around, the instructions were different compared to the first instructions received. 1 Kings 17 verse 8 to 9, I read from the New King James Version, it says, Then the word of the Lord came to him, Elijah, saying, Arise, go to Zarephath, which belongs to Sidon, and dwell there. See, I have commanded a widow there to provide for you. Amen. Now, although the drought was ongoing, Elijah's needs were still being met through this widow, as God had instructed him. Amen. My question to you is this. Are you trusting God for provisions or supernatural provisions? Could it be that your provisions or supernatural provisions are wrapped up in one instruction from the word? Could it be that your disobedience to his word is the reason why you are not experiencing increase? I mean, this is not meant to make you feel condemned. However, to encourage you to do a self-inquiry and make the necessary adjustments. Your provisions, your supernatural provisions are wrapped up in God's word. Choose God's word today. Amen.